My table is stuck. I had a y-axis limit switch error. The bed of my machine is currently stuck in the back left. The left side is the homing position, but when I tried to home in the Y, it just kept creeping all the way to the back until it got stuck. Now this all started when I was blowing out uh, chips because it was full after the last job that I did. So I suspect what happened is that some chips got into the Y-axis uh, sensor. When I discovered that this problem with the Y-axis limit switch, I submitted a uh, service request with my local HFO this morning. I had the problem yesterday. And I got a phone call a few hours later from Brett from Selway. Selway is my local HFO. And he asked me a few questions and said, okay, here's what you need to do. And he gave me the instructions. And then what he did after the phone call is he sent me an email both with the instructions and also with an exploded diagram showing how the limit switch is down here and that I needed to just remove some screws to be able to open the way cover. I thought that was fantastic. They, rather than sending out a technician, they told me what I needed to, to know and to do myself to fix the problem myself. That's fantastic. So today what I'm gonna do is see if I can go ahead and fix that. So what I'm gonna do is pull off these way covers and as I understand it, the Inductive sensor should be under these way covers. So I took the uh, this part of the way cover off, and what I can see, looking down here, let me uh, try to give you a better shot. So right here is the inductive sensor, and you can see that there is some. I don't know if you can see, but there are some chips. Let me grab them right there. And did you see that this just changed? So that shows you how sensitive it is. And that shows you that was the, the problem, that we're, so there are some chips on the center. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to clean this out a little bit and clear more of the chips away from here. And uh, then uh, we should be good to go. All right, that's not perfect, but I've cleaned up a lot of the chips. I am going to ask my HFO about all of this uh, green grease in here and see if there's something I need to do about this, but at least I can uh, button this back up and it should home correctly. And I've got the chips cleaned away from this inductive sensor, as you can see with uh, the light being on now. So if I bring something metallic next to it, uh, like one of the screws, you can see the light goes off and then it comes back on when I move this away. So that's exactly what I need uh, for the Y-axis uh, sensor to work correctly or the end stop to work correctly. So let me button this back up. All right, let's see what happens if we close the door and then press uh, power up restart. Voila. Okay, it's back up and running. So I have it fixed, which is great news. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, I had this problem occur at the end of the last job. Fortunately, after I was finished yesterday, I which was a Sunday. And then I filed the ticket this morning with them, which is a Monday. And then the information that they gave me is exactly what I needed to be able to fix the problem by myself. The time from when I came out in the shop, turned the machine on until I had it fixed was probably about half an hour. Things are a little bit slower sometimes with uh, doing video of the work that I'm doing. So very easy, very quick repair. 
And I just want to say again, I'm super happy with my HFO Selway in Auburn, Washington. This is not the first good experience I've had with them. I've had consistently good experiences with them. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, comment below, and I'll see you next time.